Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And here we are with Yoda. Ding ding, round two. Here we go. Still working on his face. Right there, yep, we're working on his face. We gotta put that big old Yoda cheekies in there and all that good stuff yet. So hang on, cuz here we go for the Yoda ride. We get the, uh, we're going to be using the SEM, or nope, sorry. <laughs> We're going to be using the uh, micro carver here with a carbide flame burr. Carbide flame burr came from eBay. Carbide flame burr. You made in the USA. Like uh, 12 bucks for this burr. Okay? So let's go ahead and uh, fire everything up. And we'll get ready to do the voiceover. All right. All right. Right, Spike? All right. All right. Here we go. All right, guys. So we are using our micro carver and the carbide flame burr. Uh, it was like 12 bucks, I think, um, off eBay, made in the USA. Uh, the smaller carbide ones that come in the packs of 10 that I usually buy on Amazon, uh, they don't seem to have as sharp of a tip on them as this carbide burr does, okay? So, uh, I decided to spend a little more and get a little bit better carbide burr. It's a 332nd shank. And uh, I'll tell you, it just outperforms the uh, cheaper, I think they're Chinese carbide burrs. It just outperforms them hands down. It's a lot sharper and it seems to last a lot longer too, guys. So, if you can afford it, uh, upgrade your carbide burr to one of these. Or if you only got an eighth inch collet, get the uh, eighth inch shank small the smallest flame burr you can get and you kind of want to get the aluminum one one for aluminum not for uh metal it, it'll say aluminum or wood wood aluminum wood or plastic it has a little more aggressive uh tooth to it flute to get right down in there and uh so yeah that's the way i would go guys i would uh if you can afford it i know at this, I know these are hard times, uh, but if you think if you can get if you can afford it, go ahead and get one of the better carbide burrs. You'll see a big difference right away. I mean, this thing is far more uh, far more sharp, a little more aggressive. Um, this wood that I got from Ben, this particular piece is very very soft, so uh, it it just each right through this wood hard quick. So that's uh, something you might want to try out on a, a smaller piece of your basswood because even the basswood you buy at uh, Hobby Lobby or Menards, uh, they all, it, it varies in hardness. So you might want to take a piece and just give it a little try on the bottom or side or someplace you're going to carve. Where you got a lot of car, a lot of stuff to take out. Um, give it a, a spot that you're going to take away anyway, and get used to it, the aggressiveness and the pull. Okay, every bit has a pull to it, because we're spinning our bits clockwise. The burr wants to drift to the right. Okay, that's one nice thing about the uh, the cut saw burrs. If you have one of these units, uh, the cut saw extreme or the coarse or the fine you can uh, flip a button on your machine and make it turn counterclockwise so it will pull to the left all right um, so you can see that we are using this carbide bird to shape under the chin and do some rounding over And we'll uh, 
basically just getting everything roughed out like you would with your big cut sauber, right? So now we're going to change over to a Ruby Burr. It's uh, 330 seconds. I buy these from uh, mountainwoodcarvers.com. And I use these uh, to do a lot of shaping with. They, hard, they, they leave a real nice finish behind, like a sanded finish. So uh, I use these quite a bit for when I'm shaping stuff. Especially little guys like this. I mean, his head is only as big as, like, if you put your two thumbs, stack them one on top of the other. That's about the size of this guy's head. You can see it in my hand. Uh, even with my big thumbs there, Kevin. Even with the big thumbs covering his, his face up. So, for Kevin, it'd probably be, like, three and a half thumbs, the head size. You know Kevin over there at uh, Sticks and Stones Wood Carving? Yeah, he's got tiny thumbs, so... He would probably be three and a half thumbs where us normal people would be like two thumbs. Two thumbs up. Yay. Hey, you know, we hit, we're over 1,500 subscribers now, guys. Isn't that awesome? I think the last time I checked, we were like 1,516 people. And uh, so thank you much for uh, subscribing, sharing, subscribing, liking. Uh, all that good stuff you guys do. You guys are all awesome. I appreciate it. And uh, basically, for the rest of this video, we're just using this Ruby Burr to get in there and shape and clean up. Okay? Um, we'll be getting up into the eyes there a little bit. There, I don't know if you guys can see them on camera. But uh, up in the eyes, there's like little fuzzies. Okay? And uh, because the wood runs left to right on this, the grain of the wood runs left to right, not up and down, like the bottom part, um, I, I think the knife just might tear it up a little too much because I'm going uh, across the grain there when you're using the knife. And so I'm just going to use these little diamond burr, or, uh Sorry, they're not diamond. They're ruby burrs. If you want a really nice finish so that when you're done, you're done. You don't have to go back and sand it and all that stuff. Uh, Ruby burrs work great. Uh, they are very hard to find on eBay or uh, Amazon. I had a, a hard job trying to find these guys. And I get the... Uh, I get a mag uh, ordering magazine from Mountain Wood Carvers, and they had them. So I bought three of them, and they range from, you know, I bought one of each size, because I didn't know what size I was going to use the most. So I bought three different sizes, and they run between $12 and $15 a piece. Yeah, they're not cheap, but boy, do they last a while. Uh, ben over there at Studio on the Lake, he likes using the uh, ruby burrs and uh, sapphire burrs. I have never tried those. Uh, if I ever locate some, I'll give it a shot. Uh, you know, I might buy one because I don't know what they cost. I mean, anytime you start putting gemstones onto uh, burrs, you're going to pay for them. But I'm, I tell you, I'm really impressed with the ruby burrs. And I know a lot of the guys that do uh, decoys, like ducks and stuff, they use the ruby burrs to uh, take down their their ducks. Okay, so you know we were using the uh, cut saw course, regular course, not the extreme. We're using the cut saw regular course, and we're using the cut saw uh, fine, original fine uh, gold on this. And even that the, the gold still leaves some uh, tool marks. Is what I guess you'd call them, tool marks. Leaves tool marks behind. So uh, I ran over this whole thing. When I clean it up, I'll, I'll run the uh, Ruby Burr over this whole thing to kind of smooth everything, everything out. You know, I'm not looking for uh, a mirror finish or anything like that because this is a wood carving, guys. You want, and I like to see the uh, the dips and bumps left by. 
carving knives and stuff. You know, it's just, it's a wood carving. I mean, if I was making, if I wanted to make a really smooth and awesome uh, finish on this guy, I would probably end up uh, following Ben's lead and use some sculpt, use some sculpting clay and uh, sculpt them out of clay and throw them in the oven and, you know, that kind of stuff. But uh, this is wood. You know, you want to be able to tell that it was made of wood, or even if you paint it. Like, we'll end up painting this guy. But you'll still see the little dips and stuff from the uh, tools, the tool marks. Uh, I just want to get rid of the uh, heavy marks from the uh, the cuts off, the rotary tools. And this guy's a little bit too small and to use uh, the Jordy Johnson flapper wheel deal you know where you put the emery cloth on it um i've tried that on little guys like this before and it'll actually break an eyebrow or something right off so on these kind of guys these little guys i mean don't get me wrong that flapper deal is awesome for the bigger carvings uh but with these little guys with that little fine detail like them eyes uh it might I, I, the flapper wheel thing just messes it up so I try to get it as smooth as I can with my different birds that I use. And uh, I seen one of uh, Studio on the Lakes videos and he was using a ruby burr. He was talking about how when he used to make uh, competition duck decoys, that's what he used was ruby burrs to smooth it out. Well, believe me, I'm no... nowhere near ready for any type of competition carving. You know, I'm just just uh, having fun here. Uh, but I'm like, well, man, if that if that works that good and smooths that out that good, I want to try it. So I bought a couple of them, and I gotta say they work pretty awesome for uh, replacing. I used to spend hours with a sanding stick. Um, there again, you can get those at Mountain Woodcarvers too. No, we're not affiliated or sponsored with Mountain Woodcarvers. It's just that I like ordering a lot of stuff there, and. Uh, I figure if I can help you guys out, locate some different type of tooling, uh, it would help you guys. So, uh, yeah, go check out Mount, Mountain Woodcarvers. That's also where I buy my uh, OCC carving knives. I see Mark the Maker bought a couple of OCC knives uh, from Mountain Woodcarvers, and he had a problem with his. Okay, uh, looked like his. Uh, the fine edge on the blade rolled. Um, I have never had that problem. And Mark, I would say, get a hold of them and tell them what went on there. You even got video video documentation of, of what happened. Uh, maybe they sharpened the blade a little too fine. Uh, but I think you'll be fine once you strop that blade up and get that edge wore back a little bit on it. I mean, it'll still be a super sharp knife. Okay, guys, this is where we're going to end this one. So uh, share, subscribe, like, be awesome, carve something awesome, carve every day if you can, all right? Um, I'll have links and uh, stuff below, so check the description. Uh, there'll be a link there if you want to help support the uh, channel. For, to uh, buy me a cup of coffee on PayPal or uh, cuts all save yourself five percent if you order use the code uh, carve Rob and we will catch you guys later all right all right bye bye <laughs>